my name is Catherine Ward and I am a native artist so I'd like to um, as a native artist I usually do paintings that has to do with bears and wolves killer whales and stuff like that and I usually do a really good good background so one day I decided to um, ex do an experiment because uh, I like water so and so I decided to take some pictures of of water that was in a pot right and so I decided to uh, because I like the how the the waves push and all that stuff and the colors so I decided, okay, so I took a couple snapshots off my cell phone and I discovered something that was quite more interesting than, than what I got. Um, what I received was actually a, a spirit image uh, of a man that was cloaked. And um, he had a mustache and beard and he had... He had uh, dark hair, and he was covered in some sort of veil, but it looks of a veil. And so I decided, well, that's kind of interesting, you know, and kind of weird because that's not my norm, right? So I uh, contacted some people, and I showed them on certain websites, um, and it so happened to be a spirit image. Uh, it's what they called uh, water ITC, and it's paranormal. So as I continued, I continued on with these, uh, with these, um, with the water images. Anyways, I started doing more and I got more images and more images and more images. So I figured, okay, well, I wanted to, uh, show other people too, right? So I started, uh, you know, um, wanting to paint them because me being a natural artist, I decided I'm going to start painting them, right? To, to show people what, what I actually saw and if this is what they saw. So this is one of the, the paintings that I did. So that being said, I decided, well, okay, well, I'll take it a, another step further. So I decided, well, I want the world to see it. So I decided to create a book. This book, and it's called Sacred Visions Bringing Into the Light by Catherine Ward. And it shows me, there's my, my, the background, the back of it. Now this book is being sold by exlibras.com, but this is some of my, uh, this is my proof that there is a spiritual world. But this is actually, uh, I'm not sure. This is actually a, a, a photo. This is a photograph of a spirit image. And this is my painting of what I saw. My my interpretation. So I'll show you a couple more pictures. So this one here. <clears throat> this is a spirit image as well. And it's a little blurry because it's a spirit image. So... And this is my interpretation of what I see in the photo. And then this one here. See? No, I'm not sure if you can really see that, but yeah. That's a spirit image. And then this is my interpretation of what I saw. Now... This is only a small little book, maybe like, I don't know, it's like 24 images in this little tiny book, but uh, it's a really, you know, I did my, my, my best to interpret what I seen in the, in the photos, but this is, you've seen this one here. <clears throat> That's the actual spirit image of what I just showed you, of an uh, angelic boy. Um, this is my interpretation. That's the one I've seen. But anyways, if you're interested in something like this, well, you know, you can find it on exlibras.com. Um, it's uh, print as on demand or something like that. And it's uh, being sold on Barnes & Nobles. 
dot com print on demand as well but uh yeah i uh, this is a hundred percent proof that there is a spiritual world and that there is life after death after we leave this earth here okay god bless you <laughs>